I agree. We're actually got some good news right here, of course, for Doken right now. Um, I, again, the 21 just came out of nowhere, though, but we do have her full info, her full details. Of course, going to go over it pretty fast. Going to go over and talk about it really quick. So, yeah, again, she has a lot she can do. She does a lot. Which is like, Doken's probably stepping in the right direction with some of these units. I heard she's really good, though, but maybe had some flaws over a little bit. I have no idea yet, though. But, yeah, I'm excited to go over her already talk about her. I did my full breakdown for my, um, for the newsletter video, which should be up soon. Again, all these videos are to be scattered going up, you know, one day after another. I'm going to try to work on it as fast as I can. I got some thumbnails I just started making, though. So, yeah, again, I got a lot to do right now. Again, 21 came out of nowhere. I can make some more girl thumbnails, which is great, though. I've been wanting to do that for a minute, though. But, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started, though. Of course, 21. Just jumping right in. All right, let's see what her details are. Her little skill actually seems pretty good, though. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. So, her little skill, she does Android's Motion Power or Puppet Galaxy 3. All sets at 170, not bad. Or, uh, she does Power Absorption or Transformation Boost. And Crossover, um, all sets up 30%. Okay, that's actually a good little skill for her. I think that's a really good combination. That's a really, actually, good little skill for her. I like that, though. Her links are... Brainiacs before she transforms, because I don't know if she has links after she transforms or not. She has Brainiacs, Metamorphosis, Android Soul, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, Scientist, and Fierce Battle. Okay, so yeah, she does a Dark Fest. Ooh, Inner Conflict. Okay, I like that though. So, okay, 21. Her passive. Her passive does attack defense of 150. All allies get key to. But another attack defense of um, 120 when. Uh, okay, when she's attacking. She has a high chance. Okay, high chance of pretty much dodging, including super attacks. Within the same turn, plus that she gives herself another two key attack so up 60% for three turns. Then she, of course, dodges again. On the additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack, then she has another chance, I guess, it seems like to do another additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Pretty much four additional, she's built an additional one dodge. And within the same turn, in which character performs three, um, the third attack in battle, doubles enemies' attack actions once the turn, when this character performs the sixth attack in battle. So pretty much you gotta keep. Give her, so pretty much she has built in full additional so she can pretty much do her thing only once and great chances to perform a crit starting from the character's next attack, character's next attack, next attack. Yeah, she feels very different though, honestly. Again, it makes sense why she attacks a lot because in fighters you literally do that 24-7, you just fight like 6, 7, 10 hits to just get a combo just, you know, to... You know, do the next like hit, the next combo, the next super attack, your level. Um, so it makes sense why she's built like that, though. And not bad, though, not bad. But again, you pretty much gotta get she already has built in four additional and dodge. Again, she had built in additional so that way you can the more you attack, the more you get that up, though. So I kind of I kind of do like that, though. But you do have to attack more and more with her, but she's been doing that a lot more nowadays. So I'm not like really, really shocked or surprised with that. So I don't care about that. That's not too bad. I won't, um, I won't give her too much for that, though. I mean, I don't care, I don't care anymore about that, so. Whatever. I mean, you had to do more attacks to get her, but you had to build her up pretty much to get her, um, get her more key, more to show attacks, more dodge, more attacks. You guys just going and going and going. But it's like I said, it's pretty much made like fighters. You guys keep going, 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 get your combo, keep going, and going to hit your level, get your super attack, do a lot of damage. So it makes sense why well, you guys just keep going and going with her. All right, let's go transformation. Um, Get activated when you're fighting one enemy from the fifth turn, starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. Oh boy, it should just it should have just been five turns. I mean, I, I'm, I don't mind the restriction, though. Um, it was just finding one enemy. Which, again, she literally was fighting herself the whole time. And she's evil, though. So, her evil out. So, she's only fighting her one opponent, though. Okay, all her categories are androids, Majin Power, Peppy Gals, um, Battle of Lotion, um, Transformation Boost, Crossover, Battle of Wits. Again, I knew she was going to have, like, too much categories. Again, it's a 21 unit. Uh, her 12 key raids attack defense for one turn immense damage with, I want to say, a high chance to stun. Okay, I did this down. Okay, I was right. Oh, yeah, her, her super attack effect, raise her attack defense for one turn. Miss damage, high chance of stunning. Okay, not bad, though. Not bad. I guess she doesn't seem that bad, though. Uh, that's a good condition, like I said. After five turns, when you fight one opponent, I mean, Rose had the same thing. You just have to last, like, six, five turns from your transform, so I'm not gonna... Like I said, not bad, though. Again, I feel like she's a little bit restricted, you know, with the one enemy, five turns, and then you gotta keep attacking with her. A little negative, though, but, I mean, hey, it's, it's not that bad. I, I'm not gonna complain too, too much, though. It's not bad so far. And of course, we have a um, regular Transform 1, which, again, awesome. Love the white hair. Love the long hair. Love me girl with some long hair. Of course, active skill. I mean, leader skill is the same. Um, but look at Big Bad Bosses trades out for Shocking Speed, maybe? Yeah, Shocking... Okay, no, no. It's, what, one? What was there? Because it does change out the category. What was that one? One, two, three, four. That was her fourth. What was her fourth category? No, oh, her fourth, the link. One, two, three, four. Android Assault? No. What changes? Let me see. I want to say, oh, Andrew is told Battlefield Diva Scientist. Okay, Scientist changes it out for, um, 
big bad bosses. I did actually see that though, so okay, I like that though. Again, she, that that's okay. That's not bad. Though. She does have big bad bosses, and she's a hero character. That's crazy, and that's a good link for villains though. So that's crazy. So you can probably work with the villain team and the hero team. So kind of alternating between. So like how's the boss? You know, you can use them with the hero team, but it debuffs them. But you can still use them on the team with the future team. It's, it's like that kind of. So her totally with determination for her passive. Again, the leader skill doesn't change. Her um link scientist transforms to big bad bosses. Uh, category stays the same too as well. So her passive which transforms. Recovers 30% HP only once. Attack defense of 120. Okay, makes sense. 121, 221. Uh, no 20. Uh, no 210. All allies key to plus an additional attack defense of 121 when attacking reduces her she reduces her damage received by 21 percent plus additional attack by 61 60 percent and 16 of course makes sense uh 21 of course on the 21s double because you know 16 and 18 the 16 and you know 21 makes sense too um then attack, within the same turn after receiving an attack plus two additional attacks at the great chance of coming a super attack 21 hp recovers hp 60 percent or less at the end of the turn so pretty much she's just a regular 21, but uh, just pretty much add this. Just add, like, adding this pretty much, because she, she does the same thing, but I think her additionals. I don't know, I feel like when she transforms, she's kind of... I feel like they kind of cut her in half a little bit, though, when she transforms. She's good, though. She could do, she's going to be doing a lot of damage. Key support, healing, tanking. With, like, all the defensives. They weren't joking with that newsletter, though. But, I mean, also... I don't know, really. I mean, she's not that... She doesn't have that many negatives. She has a lot... A few negatives... Like I said, you gotta keep attacking, attacking with her to build her up. Her transformation condition. I thought her passive pretty much got cut in half. But, I mean, otherwise, I think she's, she's a solid unit. I feel, like I said, a lot of Gohan and Piccolo with this unit, though. Like, just, the unit's good. There's a few little drawbacks, but, I mean, hey, you can't... I don't care. Very similar to them. That's why I feel like it. Hmm. Not bad, though, honestly. Really not bad. I think she's actually a good unit, though. She's actually really, really good. I'm glad they're doing stuff in a little bit of the right direction, because, man, whew, uh, her active skill for which she transforms. Is it a transform form? Or, yes, it is. Yeah, she has an um, absolute release ball. <laughs> uh, active skill can be activated fighting one enemy, starting from the next second turn. That's not bad. It can be fighting one enemy anyway, so. She might be a red zone killer, honestly. That's the rest of the raise attack temporarily. Causes the ultimate damage to the enemy. Table the enemy actions once the turn. With attacking uh, within the turn. Effective against all types. Okay, yeah, she really is just regular 21. Just, you know, cut her in half a little bit. Her passive half. You know, just pretty much you know, take away her additional. She really is just like regular 21. Her regular good form just take away the additional. So, appetizing rush off that name. Uh, raise attack defensive when tournaments damage. Yep, yeah, of course, 5% HP. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, she's really good, though. Holy crap. Like, I'm not going to really focus on her negative. She's amazing. Like, I feel like she might actually be really good for red zone, honestly. I feel like she might be a red zone killer. Because her healing, her tanking, her damage, her additionals. I feel like she's going to be cooking a little bit, though. Again, people could probably build full I think they want you to build full crit with her because, you know, you do so many additionals. Um, You do dodge. So I'll probably just say maybe full crit. If you want to go that far, again, damage is not always the best thing in Doki. If you want to go for that, like relying on that too much, but I mean, she has built an additional. She has dodge. Just I feel like going full crit might be the best option. I don't know. It's it's crazy. Like I didn't expect the unit to be this good. Like right now, that's crazy. And of course, we have a regular um, not regular, but we have an evil transform twenty one, which is good though. We need we didn't use new standalone version. Like I said she can be a Doka fest. She can be a transforming evil one, a base evil one, like this. Like again, she's probably the side unit, free to play unit. A side, I think she's a side unit. Yeah, she is. I can tell the one. Yeah, okay. I, I would say she was a free to play unit. Maybe before, because I saw an int 21. Or somebody else int. Extreme int. Maybe it's the login bonus unit. I don't know. Oh, she does a lot. Holy crap. So she does um, power absorption key 3, all sets of 130. Her links are Metamorphosis, Indra Assault, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Battlefield Diva, Fierce Battle, Fear and Faith. Oh my gosh, she has a good link set. Holy, she might be the best side unit. Her link or categories are power absorption, Peppy Gals, full power. Okay, nice. Android, oh, she's on full power. Just kidding. Uh, Androids, transformation boost, motion power, crossover battles. Okay, she's just twenty one. Just for, don't, don't put full power on her. So she does activate her intro animation. Okay, attack defense at one twenty. A great chance to launch additional attack that for four turns. From the character's intro, entry turn. High chance of doing additional attack that from the fifth turn. From the character's entry, key three attack defense of twelve twenty one. No, 21, 10. Yep. 
210. As long as additional, uh, additional attack, up, up 90% when attacking. No, you, you get additional attack, 90% when attacking, reduces damage received by 21%. Or we'll find one enemy high chance to perform a crit when facing two or more enemies. Forms a crit with HP 6% or less at the start of a turn. Or if the target enemy HP is 30% or less by attacking, we're covered with 30% HP with each final bullet delivered. I kind of don't like that though, but I mean, whatever. Uh, recovers HP with candy. Is she, again, she feels like both 21s combined. That's why I, I feel like that's what they wanted to do with this one. That's why they made this one. Oh yeah, I forgot also, thank you to Dokken Official, and of course, right here. Yeah, thank you to Dokken Official, and of course, and thank you for all the beautiful animations. Of course, we did get some new animations for her, though. So yeah, it looks awesome. Like, we were from Fighters, like 3D CG. A very, like, superhero, I think. I think, because it does feel like superhero a little bit. 21, though, I think she's really, really good. Like, her, her evil half is, like, both 21s combined from the, her transformation and her regular. That's what, I, that's what I see out of this one here, which is insane. That's crazy. Like, she feels like both 21s combined, like, both of these two combined. combined. Like, it's crazy. Let me actually move these a little bit. But, yeah, like, yeah, she feels like both of these units combined. Which I like that idea. Pretty much combined, like, again, she pretty much, like, a, not a diet, but pretty much, she she could literally be her own Doka Fest unit. She could literally be, like, she she could be, she feels like her own Doka Fest unit. That's crazy. Like, she could be her own Doka Fest unit, like, as a side unit, she might be the best side unit in the, side unit and banner unit in the game. Like, holy crap. Again, I feel like the 21 does have a few drawbacks, though, because, you know, you have to be fighting one enemy. She's really constructive. You have to do a lot of attacks to get, a lot of attacks to pretty much get her good. But, I mean, overall, I think she's going to be really amazing. Like, we thought about the Heroes unit, we read their info. They were actually, like, some people were like, eh, Vegeta and Rose, they were good. But, Xeno Deborah, like, Toa, like, Demon Girl, like, people like those just Deborah. I feel like she's gonna be like that here, like again, the typical crossover unit. Like she was, again, she's not restricted to the team, which is great. I love that. Which heroes unit should be like this, but I feel like they'd be too broken. But who cares about broken and Doken? Who gives a crap? Who really does? But yeah, the holy crap! I did not expect the type of caliber unit, though. I did really not expect this. I really did not expect this. That's crazy. This is amazing. This really is good. Again, like I so said, you gotta attack a lot with the you know twenty one, you know, to you know make her good. But while well, she's get going, she's gonna be, you know, dodging, tanking, healing, for both of them. Like, dodging, healing. She doesn't really dodge stuff, but like you no know, tanking, the healing, like the power they're gonna have, the additional, the crits. Like just so much I can think about. It's crazy. They're, they're gonna be good. Like I feel like they're gonna be good. Some of the time I have them, like eh. But again, once you get them going, like I said, you gotta get them going. I don't feel like they're gonna be red zone killers, though, honestly, though. Because you gotta keep attacking, keep going with them. I feel like they're pretty much made for that, though. I know, because, you know, red zone is a new difficult concept, but overall, as a unit, this is really good. If you're just trying to. I know it's a bait banner, pretty much, but. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like we might get Dokafesh Yamcha back, though, just because, you know, he was in Fighters, Piccolo, Transforming Goku. I feel like the banner might be kind of like Transforming Vegeta. I feel like the banner will kind of be like that. Maybe STR Ultimate Go. I don't know. I, well, her banner is going to be like, though. That's crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over today. I feel like the video went on like only 14 minutes. Wow. Okay, it's a typical Joker Fest breakdown video time. But yeah, though, see you guys there, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great life. Hope you can get them. Make sure you stay safe. Watch them. Come on. All of you from up and over masks. So until people are really do guys. If you can, go outside. Just guys. Some copium. Shout out to our friends at Joker Social Different. Where you guys are awesome. But yeah, what you guys think about all this info, though, of course? Like, did you hate it? I mean, I like it. Like, I think Tony One's disgusting. Like, as a unit and overall, as a just. Like, she's disgusting. Like, she's really good. I feel like, like I said, drawback to side. I think she's going to be really good for, like, Red Zone. I don't know why, but she's going to be good, though. But, yeah. See you guys later, though. Peace out.